Prince William and Kate Middleton make poignant visit to BBC. Just hours after attending Prince Charles' swanky 70th birthday party at Buckingham Palace, Prince William and Kate emerged the day after to make a poignant visit to the BBC. The couple were marking anti-bullying week and stopped by the broadcaster on Thursday afternoon to see what work the BBC are doing as a key member of William's task force on the prevention of cyberbullying. The royals, both 36, were met with cheers and applause as they arrived at the London headquarters. During their visit, William and Kate met young people who wrote and performed in a new campaign video for Stop. Speak, support dash the youth-led code of conduct to provide guidance on what to do when they witness bullying online. The campaign was started by the young persons panel on the task force. Despite the late night, William and Kate were in high spirits, full of enthusiasm for the day. Click through to see the best photos from their BBC visit. Scores of fans and well-wishers had gathered outside the BBC for William and Kate's arrival. Mother of three Kate looked elegant in a turquoise pleated dress by Amelia Wickstead, with smart black high-heel shoes. Her glossy hair was styled in voluminous, bouncy curls and her makeup looked flawless with a light base, nude lip and subtle eye shadow. The royals met parents and children who have been helping guide the latest tech developments from the BBC to help young people online. They also joined BBC Director General Lord Hall as he announced the broadcaster's latest initiative dash stop. Speak, support. William convened the task force in May 2016, one year after welcoming his second child Princess Charlotte with Kate. The task force supports young people and their families affected by cyberbullying, with a focus on 11 to 16 year olds. The aim is to create a safer and more supportive life online. William brought together tech and media giants, children's charities, and parents to work with a panel of young people to try and find a way forward. Task Force members include, the Anti-Bullying Alliance, Apple, BT, the Diana Award, E, Facebook, Google, Internet Matters, Music, Lee, and SPCC, O2, Sky, Snapchat, Supercell, Talk Talk, 3, Twitter, Vodafone, and Virgin Media. William gave a speech revealing why he decided to set up the task force after becoming a new parent. I saw that my friends and peers were worried about the risks of the very powerful tools we were putting in our children's hands, he said. For too many families, phones and social media shattered the sanctity and protection of the home. As we grappled with this, we felt a distinct absence of guidance. Should we read our children's messages? Should we allow them to have phones and tablets in their rooms? Who do we report bullying to? We were making up the rules as we went along. The father of three called for more work to be done to make the online world safer and happier for our young people. He urged tech giants to connect with each other to come up with solutions and show humility and transparency to their users. Surely you can partner with parents to make the online world a safe place of discovery, friendship, and education for their children, William said. You can work in the interest of the children and parents who use your products and still make your shareholders happy. We not only want you to succeed, we need you to. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited the BBC on Thursday afternoon to view the work the broadcaster is doing as a key member of Prince William's task force on the prevention of cyberbullying. Kate looked incredible as always, wowing in turquoise pleated dress by Amelia Wickstead, with smart black high-heel shoes. Her long hair was styled in voluminous, bouncy curls and her makeup looked flawless with a light base nude lip and subtle eye shadow. Today's event was to mark anti-bullying week, and the royal couple met with young people who wrote and performed in a new campaign video for Stop, Speak, Support, which is a youth-led code of conduct to provide guidance on what to do when they witness bullying online. Kate looked fresh and ready for her day of greetings, despite the fact she had a late night, having attended Prince Charles' 70th birthday celebrations at Buckingham Palace the evening before. Snapped arriving, the mother of three wore a pink, one-shoulder dress with eye-catching ruffle detail. We especially loved her chic updo, which enabled us to get a glimpse of her fabulous earrings. She wore the same glittering, shoulder-grazing gems at the BAFTAs in 2017, sticking to her fashion rule of recycling her wardrobe. During the day, Kate and William met with parents and children who have been helping guide the latest tech developments from the BBC to help young people online. The couple joined the BBC director, 
General Lord Hall, as he announced the broadcaster's latest initiative. The Royal Foundation convened the task force in May 2016, to support young people and their families affected by cyberbullying, with a particular focus on 11- to 16-year-olds. Father of three William brought together some of the world's most recognizable names in media and tech, as well as children's charities and parents, to work alongside a panel of young people to try and find a way forward.